So, which one of these tape dispensers or tape guns is better? Hi guys, so in this video we're going to test out these tape two tape guns. I am going to be a little bit biased in this uh, video because I really do like this tape gun to my left, or, or um, in my left hand. Uh, it's a stronger tape gun, it's a metal tape gun. This one is a cheaper plastic version, it has got a little bit of metal on. Um, but yeah, basically, so I am biased towards this tape gun, uh, which could affect this kind of video a little bit. But I wanted to do this video anyway, and um, hopefully achieve in this video, just to see whether a, a cheaper gun is better than a slightly more expensive gun but still very very reasonably priced this one comes in at about nine pound odd these cheaper ones you can get for about four to five pound so really this is still the one in my left hand is still in that kind of cheaper bracket but this has actually lasted me two years now or very very close to it and I've not had a tr not had any trouble, I've not even needed to buy a new one. Um, whereas this one, I've had a couple of these in the past, obviously I've got this one now as well, and it, they just don't last as long. They aren't, for me personally, they aren't as efficient. But anyway, we will see, we'll get on with the tests, and we'll just see, you know, what I think of each of them, what you guys think of each of them, and whether I am right in maybe the fact that if you buy a slightly higher priced one, um, that might be better for you in the long run. But without further ado, what I'm going to do is take these off. So just give me a minute, I'll take these off. Right, so I've got the tape away from the unit now. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put the tape on the unit and load it up and see how I feel when I'm loading both of the tape dispensers up and see what happens, see if... Um, you know, this one is easier than that one to load up, that one's easier than this one. What I like about it in terms of putting the tape on, do I feel it's a strong fit? Do I feel like the tape might fall off or anything like that? So, let me just load this one up. So, as you can see, I'm not having much trouble loading this one up. I've done it many times anyway. Um, and as you can see, it's quite nice. Obviously, the tape does hang down there, but a lot, a lot of the time the tape just does that anyway. Obviously, because then what you do is maybe you're putting it on a package, you put the tape there, and then you pull over, you see, and then clip it off. Um, so, yeah, it's not too much of a trouble, like, that tape just hanging there. But, yeah, what I can feel with this one is it feels heavier. The tape feels very, very secure here. You can see there's, there's quite a bit of friction in there, so it's a bit harder to get off. Like, it will come off, obviously, because it needs to come off, but there's a bit more friction there. So, that's quite good. I like that. Also, I like where the positioning of the guard is, um, you know, when I'm sort of cutting the tape off, when I'm going over a package and cutting it off, it will pretty much all the time cut itself off quite easily. So, I like that. And as I say, it's just strong and heavy. Um, also, it's worth noting that I've preset these little, uh, the like sort of, um, friction dials in a way if you turn them I think it's if you turn them right it gets tighter and basically when you are actually dispensing the tape it'll be um, it'll there'll be a lot of friction there but it'll be quite tight to actually dispense the tape so I've, I've preset these about halfway I on both of the units I don't like them too loose and I don't like them really tight so to make it a bit fairer between both of the units, I've done that as well. But yeah, so that's that one loaded up, all sorted. Now we've got the next one. So this is the cheaper version, although, as I say, not that much cheaper. So we're going to put this on here. So it fits in quite nicely, I have to say. It's not too bad. However, the only thing, the only issue I have is that, as you can see here, I mean, literally, look at that. It just goes on and off. There's, there's no friction. And my worry there is that, obviously, when I'm packaging up the parcel, or anything like that, I'm packaging up, or packaging up parcels, it'll just fall off. I mean, look at, look at how easy that goes on and off. That is not particularly good. The other thing I'm not too keen on is this thing down here. With the other one, basically, with this, I get a bigger area to actually put, put my tape through. So... I've got a bigger area there to put my tape through and also it clips down so it clips down when I'm actually putting my tape through to, to help me out basically but with this one 
and I'm going to load it up now and we're going to see. Um, this one doesn't clip down, it's on a spring, so it doesn't actually clip down, which is a little bit annoying for actually getting the tape through. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it like this, I hope you can probably see that. Right, there we go. So it's not too much trouble, it's okay, you can do it two-handed. With the other one, I can probably do it one-handed, or, or almost, anyway. Um, but yeah, there we are, it's loaded up. It feels okay as it is, it feels alright, you know, it doesn't feel too weak or anything, it feels like it can handle packages. But yeah, so that's them loaded up. I would say I'm in favour of this one at the moment for loading up, um, and obviously just the overall feel and the weight of it, I just like the weight of it. It feels like it can handle packages, you know, better than this one could. But anyway, what we'll do now is we'll go over and do a basic test. I'll just get a couple of, uh, basically, I'll just get a couple of these uh, empty boxes. These are just FBA boxes I use. And I'll angle the camera down and we'll basically just sort of package one up or simul simulate packaging something up. So, yeah, without further ado, we'll get on with the basic test. Right then guys, I hope you can see me down here, so I've just uh, got an FBA box here, basically. I'm just going to close it nice and flat, well, I'll have to put my hand on it anyway. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to do this, just a basic test. I know you can't really see me very well in the frame, but I wanted just to see the box more than me. Um, so yeah, basically I'm going to do this with the cheapest tape dispenser first, the more plasticky one, and we'll see how it gets on. So I have to say that was really, really, really nice. I, was, I wasn't actually expecting how nice that was. Uh, it really cut off easily. It was really pretty fine, to be honest. So we'll just... Again, I'm really, really happy with that. Yeah, I'm really happy how that's come out. What we can also do is we can do what's known as a, a H seal. So what... That When I put it down. Now really this shouldn't happen because if you put a tape dispenser down it shouldn't just, the roll shouldn't just fall off like that and that's what I was um, talking about with the fact that there's not much friction there. So yeah the roll did just actually fall out of its holster there which is a bit of an issue and that's something I don't particularly like about this dispenser. So we'll just do that. I'm going to put it down the other way this time. I'm going to actually lay it down on the ground the other way so that then it doesn't actually come off. So what we're going to do is just hate seal, which is where you're sealing it up this way on the, on the end. And then you're sealing it up this way as well. Just because I want to give you a little bit of uh, information as well in this video, opposed to just a random comparison. Um, so yeah, that's nicely done. It, the tape is nicely applied. I'm really happy with that. Um, so yeah, next we're going to try the other tape dispenser. So I'm going to get another box. So bear with me a second. Right then guys, so I've got the uh, somewhat more expensive tape dispenser here and the one that I prefer. Um, and yeah, we're going to just try the same sort of thing, but on this box. Now, I don't know whether you guys noticed that, but I found that a little bit of a louder sound. I don't think that makes any difference, really. Whether it means there's a little bit more friction on this one, I'm not sure. But it did. I did notice that was a little bit of a louder sound. Whether that would be a negative for some people is another thing as well, actually. But it feels really, really strong, this one. It didn't actually... The tape didn't actually come off the roll, or, sorry, come off the gun when I laid it down. You can see that it's nice and uh, there's, there's a lot of friction there, it's not going to come off easily. So yeah, quite happy with that. It does need, funny thing is this one maybe needed a little bit of a brush on that um, middle layer opposed to that one. Uh, where was the other, let me just see this. Yeah, that one probably needs a little bit of a brush down anyway, but yeah, just to basically just to apply the tape a little bit more on that. So yeah, we'll do that and then we're just going to do the tip the hate seal again. Again, I'm quite happy with how that was applied there. There we go. The thing with the funny thing with this one actually again is um, I do like this one. However, what I noticed when I was just doing that there 
was it is a little bit harder when you actually pull it off. So when I, you know, let me just do that again. So let me replicate that there. When I'm pulling down on it, I have to do a bit of a firmer, a firmer pull down to actually get the tape off. That might be because there are actually little strands of tape that have got caught up in the actual uh, razor here or whatever you'd call it, the little sort of knife bit. Um, so yeah, that might be what that is. But still, it, it is a little bit tight when you're actually trying to get it off. So, yeah, that is something to point out on that one, actually, that is a little bit of a negative. As well as the fact that maybe it is a little bit of a louder tape dispenser. It seems to have done okay. It seems to be a bit... It seems to be like, you know, you have to brush it down a little bit more. It could be because this tape gun is slightly older than that one as well. Well, a little bit older than that one anyway. So, yeah, I'm not sure. But anyway, that one's that one done. So, I'm sure like me, when you've got a lot of parcels to do, you want to do them quite fast. And you want to be getting into a rhythm, you want to make sure that you're parceling it up really, really quickly, and you can actually, you know, get on with the next parcel and eventually uh, stop packaging for the day and get the orders out. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to do a speed test. So, what uh, basically, just how fast can I do it without the actual tape dispenser breaking down or uh, malfunctioning in any way. So we'll start with, yeah, okay, that was great. We'll start with the cheaper one. And as you can see, it's not a very good start with that just falling off there. But we'll, uh, we'll see because I was ha actually pleasantly surprised with uh, how decent that actually was at parceling up the other one, at taping that up. So, uh, I don't know, this might work on a, on a sort of faster pace. So, we'll see what it can do anyway. Yeah, I like that. Now, I do want to point out, I wouldn't normally use this much, much tape, but I'm just doing this for this dem demonstration. I really like the speed of that. It does still feel to me a little bit weak when I'm using it. It doesn't feel as strong as it could be. I am a little bit worried when I'm using it that, again, that tape will actually fall off. But I'm quite happy with how that's come out. Uh, it's fast. It applies the tape quite well. As you can see, this side is done quite well. There's a little bit, you know, I'll need a brush down on this side. But generally, you always need a little bit of a brush down just to apply it quite well. But still, the tape dispenser has applied it quite well. It's been able to work quickly and efficiently. So, yeah, thumbs up for that, really. As I say, the only issue is the tape not being completely firm in position in that unit. So, I'll try with this one. I'll get the other box. We'll see if this can do it the same, if this is all right, how strong this is, how I feel about the application of the tape and all that sort of stuff. So, again, this one doesn't seem to have moved position, the tape hasn't fell out or anything like that, so that's pretty decent. And we'll see how we can get this done. Again, nice and strong. The, the only issue with this one, and it might be the way I'm actually doing this, or it might just be something from the tape gun itself, it doesn't seem to apply the tape as well as that one. Again, it could be just the movement I'm actually doing with this tape gun opposed to this one. But I do feel like this one, on a negative point, doesn't apply the tape as well. However, with a nice little brush down, it's fine anyway. And it'll apply, it'll just apply down with a little uh, brush of your hand. So it's not nothing too major. But it is a little bit of a negative point. Again, every time I've been using this tape gun, it's felt a lot stronger, felt a lot more robust. It's felt like um, it'll work, it'll be more of a workhorse than that tape gun. But then again, that tape gun does seem pretty all right. So I will just quickly wrap up with a little conclusion. So guys, I'm actually pleasantly surprised with the action of this tape gun. The only issue, and it is a big issue, is the fact that basically the tape will pretty much always fall off when you've got it laid down in an incorrect position or whether you're sort of moving it around and stuff. 
I don't particularly like the strength of this tape gun either. I feel like when I'm actually doing that movement, it doesn't feel as strong or robust. However, I do feel that it's still fit for purpose. It does what it says on the tin. Uh, as I say, the only issue is that kind of clamp in there with the tape. Um, but yeah, I was pleasantly surprised with what it could do in terms of performing its its base, basic action. Um, so with this one, I've had this one longer. Um, I feel like it's stronger, more robust. It, I feel like it's made better as well. Um, and for a few extra pound, I think it's more worth you going with this one than the other one. Um, you know, may, a lot of people have said kind of that when they get the cheaper ones, they end up going through for it. They end up going through two or three or four a year. Whereas when you get get one of these, I mean, I've had this one for two years or so now. If you work out the maths. If you get to, you know three or four of those a year at four pound a pop, you're then paying sixteen pound. That's thirty two pound every two years. I've had this one for two years. It's been fine. It still is fine. There might be a few minor things on it um, that probably could be just adjusted or worked out with just a little bit of effort, like pulling out these little bits here would make it more efficient. Obviously, I can change this dial to make uh, that friction a little bit less that I was noticing uh, when I was actually doing a little bit of parceling then. Um, so, yeah, there are things that could be worked out, but on the whole, this one still works pretty well after two years so you know 32 pound cost for six of those or for the same amount of time a nine pound cost for just one of these and this could last me another year or two i don't know so yeah i'm quite happy with that one obviously i this was biased i you know i or biased i was um i was kind of already in favor of this one however i did want to give that one a fair shot and to be fair to it it did the basic action better than I thought it would. There are just other nitpicks I have with it, other issues I have with it. So yeah, if you would like to buy this one, I will put a link down below. It'll be the first link down below. Also, this one, this one I actually got from a supermarket for about four quid. But there are others online that are pretty much exactly the same. So I'll try and find a link for this online. And uh, obviously I'll put that link down below as well. Um, but in my personal opinion, I would suggest you pay a little bit extra. Also, go out there and search yourself for maybe even a more expensive one because this is very much kind of the lower end of tape guns. I'm sure there's other ones out there that are 20, 30, 40 pound that are going to do an even better job and that are going to even last longer. But this 9, 10 pound one has been more than enough for me and I package up a lot of parcels. I probably do like 50, 60 a week, something like that. So, you know, in Christmas even more. And this has been with me, as I say, for the last few years and it's been through all those parcels and it's been fine so it just shows really you don't need to spend loads of money you can get quality for for a decent amount of money in a lot of circumstances anyway i'll leave it there guys i won't ramble any longer if you enjoyed the video then please do give it a like down below if you would like to see any more of these kind of comparison videos or review videos or or sort of which one is better videos then put a comment down below suggest something that you would like to see maybe it's i, I don't know maybe it's um tape itself maybe it's uh, jiffy bags or something like that whatever it doesn't need to be packaging materials it could be anything really to do with reselling so if you would like any more comparison videos then please do drop uh, any ideas or questions or queries below in that sense so i'll leave it there, there guys thank you very much for joining me i will see you soon